Yo, what's up guys, this technology help back here and today in this video, I'll be showing you how can you customize your GitHub profile page from something boring that looks like this into something really, really attractive. It is not much different, but you can see everything has been placed in a well-organized manner and it will definitely make you stand out from the rest of the crowd. And what if I tell you, you can get this thing done in less than five minutes. Yes, it's really, really simple and you can just set it up in almost no time. So once you head up to any GitHub profile, the first thing that you'll see on the top is a readme.md file. So how do you get this readme file? You basically need to create a repository and the name of the repository has to be the one that your username is. So my username is technology hell and same is the name of this particular repository. In this repository, simply create a new file and the file name should be readme.md. MD stands for Markdown and Markdown is a type of text file which is capable of several web application related activities. So what we are going to do is that we will create a readme file which will have some content. Of course, I already have some of it in here. Some of them are URLs which actually work. So we will be adding graphs, charts and several more things to showcase our skill sets and our past experience and whatever we have done on GitHub in a little bit of graphical and a slightly attractive manner. So it's gonna be really simple. We will need a readme file generator. And for that, we are gonna use GPRM. GPRM is basically a GitHub profile readme maker. It is someone's project that is open source. So yes, you can use it for free without any restriction and you can also make contributions to it. So search for GPRM, the first page will take you up there. And the first requirement here is your GitHub username because the website needs to fetch some data from your profile. So just copy your username, paste and hit next. Now you need to add the about information. You have some of the templates given here. Either you can write it up or if you have something already, simply paste it in here. And in case you don't have anything, just go to any GPT tool, copy the content and paste and then simply hit next. And with that, you will get an overview how your profile might look like. From here, you can either turn borders on or off. You can turn on or off the private comments and you also get lots of themes to choose from. So for now, I'll go with transparent and let's see how it looks. I'm not sure. I'm setting this up for the first time. Then hit next. Now you get the option to add your social links. You get a hell lot of options. So just choose few which are relevant to your GitHub profile. Once done, hit next. Now you need to add the text tag that you use. So now just choose whatever you have a basic idea about or you have some experience with. Don't just blindly start adding stuff because it will just make your profile look cluttered. And once you are done choosing whatever you know, just scroll to the bottom of the page and there you get this option for theme. So you basically get four theme options. Choose anything that suits you and then click next. So now you also have the option to let people help you via donations. So you can add the URLs in case you have accounts on any of these for donations and then hit next. And there you see it gives you additional stuff to add. You can choose the theme for these things. These are basically trophies and they will give you the rank upon your experience and your past working that you have done on GitHub. You can also add GitHub trophies. You can also add visitor count. You can add random developer quotes. And you can also add a list of your top contribution for the repository rankings. So it's up to you what you want to put up and what you don't want to. In case you want to add these, this is how you are supposed to do them. You can add a background, you can add borders, and of course you can change the theme. And then simply scroll to the bottom of the page and hit next. And there you are done. Your work is almost complete. Your awesome profile is ready. Now you have two options. First, you can download this markdown file and of course, once downloaded, you can open it up with any proper text editor, for example, VS Code, and then you can customize the content that's present on here. Or the second option it gives you, you can copy this code, you can go to any online markdown code editor and then simply edit this code because this code is nothing complex. You just put in this data on the right hand side, you get how it will appear and then you can of course customize it. It is nothing complex, simple HTML. You can use the elements. You can see how content has been pushed in here and you can make several changes to it if you wish to. And in case you are a beginner, just like me, head up to your GitHub profile, open the readme file. In case you have any content, 
delete it off and in case you don't have a readme file create a repository with a username create a readme file and then paste this content here once done hit commit changes and commit it to the main branch and once the readme file has been updated you will get a review on here itself and now if you reload the page for your profile page and there you see the magic everything has been updated and it is exactly what you have designed just now in case you want to make any changes to it you can of course go to your gprm site and then edit this code again you can hit go back and customize whatever changes you want or you can do the changes via a code editor so this is really simple how you are supposed to do it in case you have downloaded the markdown file you can definitely come to your repository and then simply upload that file so that's it a really simple method how you are supposed to add a really cool looking profile to your github account if you are facing any issues comment down i'll try to help you out and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe as we keep coming up with such videos every week thanks for watching